Hey guys, how you doing? So here's a, an article that just popped up in my feed that's uh, worthy of note. So uh, here it is. IBM laid off 8,000 employees to replace them with AI, but what they didn't expect was having to rehire as many due to AI. <laughs> I don't know if they didn't expect it. You figure they would expect it. This is something I expected. Anybody who watches my videos on a regular basis knows I've been saying this. I've been saying that the shift to AI is just going to change things a little bit. It's going to shift things. From, mm -mm, but developers, highly skilled people are going to still be required. It's just going to make the whole economy much more efficient when we have all these AI Asians running around doing stuff. So, as I said, we are in a transitional period where companies are kind of figuring out how the new structure is going to be within their organizations. And so they're going to lay off a bunch of people and then rehire a bunch of people, or hire a bunch of new people. So the key, the key for technologists, developers, is just to get into the space, to get into the AI agent space. Understand this, this stuff I've been talking about recently, MCP, AI agents, agentic development, that sort of thing. Don't get me wrong. I keep saying it. Traditional software development, especially amongst uh, SMBs, small, medium-sized businesses, is not going to be radically changed. You won't see massive amounts of people being fired. What you're going to see is just AI processes, AI integration seeping into the small, medium-sized business uh, development world. That's all. And I'm seeing it more and more and more. Those who get ahead of it, those who learn this stuff, use it, deploy it, are going to do very, very well. So as I recommend, you learn the web stack. My choices are the web stack, so HTML5, CSS3. In terms of programming languages, it's JavaScript and Python I would learn. If you want to do freelance or get into PHP, you learn your fundamentals. So you understand how to create a website, you understand domain names, request response model, uh, client server, the stateless nature of the web, uh, the basics of relational databases, and maybe the basics of databases overall. Uh, you're looking at about 300 hours of work there, give or take, depending on where you, uh, where you are coming into this. Once you do that, then you just start building things, start building things. Now, along the way, you should be using AI. You want to become as familiar with the AI world as you are with the coding world. You want, you know, as a professional developer, you go in there and say, okay, what is the best technology for this particular task? Sometimes it might be JavaScript. Sometimes it might be Python. Sometimes it might be PHP Laravel. Sometimes it might be WordPress, right? Sometimes it's Wix for, you know, you have to understand the landscape and the choices, which database to use, right? Now, it doesn't mean you have to be an expert in all these things, but you have to just understand the underlying fundamentals of the technologies so you know what to implement, how to approach it. you got to look at the AIs out there and the AI tool sets, whether it be from ChatGPT, from Grok, uh, whatever Google's bringing to you, uh, you know, Cloud, etc. You have to understand their pros and their cons, how to implement them. A developer develops systems and processes, the languages, the libraries like React, Vue, Angular, uh, the backend frameworks, you know, uh, I don't know Python, you know, Django for Python, Laravel for PHP, Boot for uh, Java. These are our tools, as are the databases, and as are the AI tool sets. So I would say those who jump into the AI tool sets are going to do very, very well, are going to do very, very well. So anyway, this IBM example I just showed you, is an example, a very concrete example of what I've been talking about, how we're, we are in a trans, transitory or transitionary uh, circumstance right now, time, and the jobs are being uh, replaced with a bunch of new jobs. And I think actually there's going to be a lot more use cases out there, meaning I think there's going to be a lot of new things that are going to be built using agents and AI that you didn't exist before. So yeah, some traditional jobs in coding uh, is going to, are going to go away or are going to decrease in the volume, but they're going to be replaced with a whole bunch of new jobs. That's what happened 
when the web came around. The web basically killed a bunch of jobs in um, the traditional development space, the thick client development space. You know, at one point, even me, I was building uh, software that you deployed on CD-ROMs and DVD. And uh, that game uh, long ago disappeared, right? It's over. Uh, I was, uh, I had contracts where we were building uh, basic web apps with Flash front ends, Flash technology, and ActionScript. And there was a whole industry based on that. That went away around 2011. That went away really quick. But did all those people lose their jobs? They lost their ActionScript Flash jobs, but they pivoted into a whole bunch of other things that are, you know, just as productive and not more productive. Anyway, so there you go. I put out these videos to inform you about where to go career-wise, but I also put out these videos to encourage you to not worry about the doomers. The doomers out there, I find uh, the vast majority of them uh, are not uh, developers, you know. I've seen these cycles over and over again. So the IBM example, they fired 8,000 people, AI, and then they have to bring in more than 8,000 to replace them. And this is just the beginning. I think my prediction is that with the AI infrastructure that's being put into place now, my prediction is that we are just going to be far more productive in terms of developing software and developing systems and processes that uh, the quality of uh, the products coming out of the technology space are just going to improve. Our smart devices are going to get so much smarter. Our, whether it be phones, glasses, watches, rings, you know, that kind of stuff. And that's great. Uh, the quality of the online experience is just going to get much, much more sophisticated, much, much better. And hopefully, uh, the time it takes to develop these new products and tools, not hopefully, it will happen. It's just going to be so much quicker. Like, I can't wait for uh, agents to be available right within Gmail so, so I can train agents to handle the vast majority of my emails. I get so many emails, you have no idea. And a lot of them is like, oh. I, sometimes it takes me a couple of weeks to get to them because I get so many emails. And a lot of emails could be answered, okay, if you want to, could be an, a good AI, if I can get a GPT in there, uh, reading the emails, knowing what I know, and answering accordingly, that's fantastic. So great productivity booster, so fantastic. It's going to be kind of like Star Trek, you know? Star Trek, com computer, please calculate this. All right, here you go. That kind of thing. So anyway, there you go. I hope that encourages you. If you're just new to the industry, again, learn your fundamentals. I recommend the web stack, CRUD, basic CRUD, uh, JavaScript, Python, two basic languages, freelance, PHP. And uh, just take it from there, start building things. Along the way, start learning the, the different AI tool sets that are out there. Whatever one you want to work, they're all pretty good. They're all neck and neck now. Some are better here, some are better there. You got to think of like all these AIs kind of like hiring specialists. You know, some specialists are better at legal work and other specialists will be better at, I don't know, uh, building apps in Java. Uh, same thing with these AIs. I hope you found this useful. If you disagree with anything I say in this video, just get out of here. Just kidding. If you disagree with anything I say in this video, put it in the comments below. Let me know. I'm open to learning new things all the time. And uh, if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. Share it. Tell people about it. Um, if you love my long hair, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like my long hair, give me two thumbs down. That's it. I got the best blurry hands in the game. Look at that. How many people give you the blurry hands like this? Thank you.